What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. I'm Chris. That's Mikey. Yes, it is. What's going on, Chris? Game of Thrones, Mike. Hey, uh, yeah. so everybody out there, check this out. We're a little Ooh. late on this, but we decided we're going to combine the two. We're going to three episode three and four because it was kind of like a, you know, it the thing happened and then the aftermath. So that's what we decided to do with these two episodes. That's what you're calling it, the thing. Whatever. Listen, <laughs> here's the thing. Battle of Winterfell. All right, we'll start yes. there real quick. Look, yes. I've had a lot of time. We've all had a lot of time to think about this, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with it like many mm -hmm. people are. Yeah. So I'll tell you how I feel. I'm not happy with it. You know, obviously, it's a waste. It's a waste of a storyline. It's a waste of many characters. It's a nobody died. This is my I'm bullet pointing. Okay, I'm bullet pointing. Let me tell you the bad stuff. Sam should have died. Bar none. Done. Sam should have died. Didn't die. Dead. All Dead. right. Brienne and Jamie, they all should have died as well because you you know you had well just the circumstances they were involved in during they should have the died right it seemed that way yes because but look obviously at, there would be no plot points for the rest of the episodes because look at beric bran and, and i mean um right jamie and everybody beric died. went against three of them and he got stabbed like 17 <laughs> times by three of them yeah the other was yeah. everyone was overrun okay mm -hmm. <sighs> um the night king smiling that was dumb Wow, when he was getting burned, you talking? Yeah, that was dumb. Uh, you just ruined that well, character. Who thought, I mean, really, who thought that he was just going to die in that moment anyway? I, well, number one. But number no two, one, then he yeah, smiled. Yeah. And it's like, what do you... That's like, He's the man. He's cocky. You know? But that's he's the never, thing, like... I don't know, man. I didn't mind that so much. You know, and mind. the problem I had was... You decimated... Like, they just decimated the Dothraki. They decimated the uh unsullied they got through like it was like it was a lot for nothing look bottom line i didn't like it i'm not gonna go into too much detail yeah. the way he died was kind of cool i oh, thought it was really cool yeah i think that was really cool i mean listen I, i'm not gonna uh, i'm not gonna I don't rip like that he apart. died that way yeah. but it was i'm not cool. gonna rip it apart there were things I thought the battle plan was a little iffy, just like you said. I mean, in the beginning with the trebuchets and all this kind of stuff, there was only a certain amount of, of rocks that can be thrown before your guard is as far as where they would land. Well, right, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like there's only maybe one or two shots that they can do from each of them before your guard is in the middle of the, the battle. So I thought that you're in a castle. How about being in the castle? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not not um, the two best armies or your two biggest armies right out there to be uh, destroyed. Um, so I thought that some things were a little a little iffy. Um, it was very dark. I know a lot of people were complaining about that, but um, the, the under uh, underwhelming deaths. We had Ed of the Night's Watch. Wow, Beric. Listen, I thought it was cool because of what happened in the circumstance. That listen, he, that he whole did it for scene, a reason. He that, did it for a reason. That was to, it's for Arya. For me, that was the best part of the the episode was the the that stuff. I I, I kind of liked seeing Arya like, oh, she's a little scared again, but not but not too scared to not like do her moves and stuff. I thought that was very horror horror ish, you know, like or or zombie movie like it was really cool the hallways and stuff like that was a very well, interesting yeah like the library scene yeah it was you different that was kind of was, was kind different. of um it was very zombie-esque very walking dead -ish. very walking dead but the thing is you know these things like it was sick when they start when it was the ocean of them like world war z coming at them through the darkness that was amazing so they had some really interesting shots and in, and in moments yeah. but it just it just and it was, and it was, you know, but yes, it was dark and stuff, and there was way too many shots of people getting chopped down, and you couldn't see anything. So, but there were the moments that were really good. But it's just, yeah, the overall essence, yeah, the sum of the parts don't make, you know, isn't good yeah. enough, you know. And then, and then, you know, you got uh, uh, Greyjoy, you know, he he gets killed, and yeah. that. Now, to me, that death was um, – uh, it was perfect for him because mm -hmm. he redeemed, yeah, he redeemed himself, but then, but then he, did the, he did a very foolish, ridiculous thing at the end, and that sums up his whole life. That sums up that whole character perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah. No, I mean – He's going to run headlong into death. Okay. And it's dead, like, buddy. you know, Bran knows exactly what he's going to do because Bran's like, thank you. You know, you're so, a good man or whatever. So uh, – no, go ahead. Go well, ahead. What about Bran, Mikey? What? 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 What's the point? He wargs into ravens, and then what? But like, 
What's the whole point of all of it? Dude, the first shot of the entire series had White Walkers. And you end it like that? That should have been end-all, be-all, man. I mean, could they have saved it to the final episode? I mean, No, could because they, they had that? to play the Game of Thrones. And, they, and look, we're going to get into I all guess, that other stuff. I guess. Listen, I mean, to, to wrap up really like season uh, episode, episode three. Episode three. Um, one thing we haven't mentioned so far is Melisandre, which I thought was very interesting. Boy, and dumb. and what is that? the fact that it was Arya's destiny, um, Beric obviously has saves her. It's like they know, Bran knows that it's Arya, the one that's going to do the, the death blow. And I think that, remember the one scene where... Uh, there was so much of the coldness of the snow, whatever they mm-hmm. couldn't light. They couldn't light the um, right. the trap there. The 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 well, wood it was there, also the it was also so they could see on the dragons. Well, it, so but it was to see, keep. It right. was a and it was also to keep them keep out, right, away. Yeah. So Malisandra coming and lighting the Dothraki blades, and then being the one that says what she says and lights up the. Um, the the the, the ramparts, the, right? The, yeah, yeah, the ramparts. I thought it was. I thought it was cool. Um, uh, for Melisandre to come back in that way because obviously she's a character from the beginning and we know that she made poor choices, and, uh, you know, but but um, for Beric and for her um, and for Bran to be the to know um, and it was a, it was it was surprising for me that Arya was the one that does it, but it was just kind of interesting. And then at the end, it's kind of like um, Melisandre knows, all right, my there's no need to kill me to Davos. She walks off and takes the glamour off and, and dies. I thought that was I thought that was very interesting. Um, yeah, but then you know, but, Arya being my favorite character, one of my favorite characters, was awesome for her to be the one that that saves the day. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting. I mean, that was that was a fun thing. You know, I mean, you know, I saw you see all the memes where it's like they're on their phones while she runs past, you know, and he's like, guys, really. But the thing is, John completely unutilized. Like he's just getting chased by the dragon. Like that was so unutilized. The stuff in the air with the dragons was like pretty bad, dude. It was like you couldn't see what was going on. It was tough because it was dark. But I. But like that- even though even the act, like it's just it's just it wasn't very well done. The 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 concepts behind the action and everything happening just. Mm. I don't know, man. It didn't do it for me. It left me very, it left me very disappointed and underwhelmed. Yeah. Because parts of it were like, "Oh, this is going down," and then it was like, "But wait, what? Hold on, yeah. hold on." Like, yeah. there was no. So that was literally no threat. So the eight seasons worth of threat became nothing. And then my initial thought, I looked at, I turned to my wife and said, "Great, now we have to deal with Cersei." Like that's, I, I don't care. I didn't yeah. give a shit. I don't care. It's boring. I'm so done yeah. with her dumb shit. So let's yeah. move on to episode four, which yeah. is the aftermath. A little bit better. Yes, we'll say someone left the coffee cup. But let me tell you something about the coffee cup. That, to me, shows you, like, they're done, dude. They checked out. Like, did you, you just rushed. I just feel like they just like, rushed. I, I don't want to believe that. I mean, why? After all the time and how much. I understand. And, and I'm not trying to take away. Look, every the actors. You know, I feel like I'm talking to The Walking Dead again, man, which sucks because everybody on the show is amazing at what they do. But the words that they're given, again, and the actions in the, I mean, the, the, the uh, dialogue, not not nearly as bad as The Walking Dead the past those past couple of seasons. But the fact that that could slip through was just like, are they just rushing it through? Or what are they doing? Anyway, the point is, a lot of stuff happened in, in episode four. <laughs> A lot of I mean, shit went down. A lot of celebrating. I mean, we have Gendry, which is he's legitimized by Danny, which I thought, yeah, I mean, that's how the episode started off. That was kind of cool. I mean, and they, and and they kind of mentioned um, while it's going on, it's like you're gaining an ally by doing this. It's a smart move. She tells oh, Tyrion, right, yeah. you know, um, she pro- he he proposes. I'm not the only one that can that can. Yeah, whatever. But listen, and, a lot and, happened. Know. Let's just let's just cruise through it, man, because yeah. bullet yeah. point this shit. Yeah, you know. Brienne and to- and Jamie, great. They finally bang, then he leaves her, right? He's little like, weird, yeah, little you know. weird. I don't know if they forced that just for the fans or if that was something that they were thinking about doing for a while, yeah. but not something that I was... Um, oh, we didn't, even, we didn't even mention Jorah dying. Whatever. We, that's right, yes. Whatever. That's, that was, that was one, of, one of many of Danny's losses. He just, he just wanted to bang her, and he didn't get to bang her, and that was it. He didn't bang her, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, let's... So, so episode four, we get... You know, um, Danny, you you said earlier, uh, yeah, you know, 
Danny yeah. wants to keep the secret uh, about John's parentage to a minimum. He doesn't even want her, uh, him to tell his family, which he obviously does. The first thing he does, and when it he gets takes a chance. Uh, yeah. it takes a moment of uh, a matter of a few minutes before um, Varys knows and Tyrion it's knows. Ridiculous. And, Dude, it was, and you know what I loved about that? So, so episode four was actually a little bit better for me. Yeah. Um, you know, but still, whatever. It was, it was a better episode. Like, yeah, he. So Varys and, and Tyrion are talking, and they just matter-of-factly, he's like, oh, so you know? He's like, yeah, if I if, if you know, then they know them, blah, blah, blah. Like, I just thought it was great how they didn't tell you. The, they just It was just in, in general, it was like in a casual conversation. And that's mm-hmm. exactly, that was good, because it's like, yes, that's exactly what would happen. With, he would know, he would know, that's it. Like, it doesn't, you don't have to highlight it. It's, it's, it, it's it. Yeah. So yeah. So then, and everyone... I mean, the actors are fantastic. Too. Oh well, they always are. And then, so you know, Varys is initial. So right away, he's conspiring because obviously Jon Snow and you know Tyrion. Yeah, he he knows that he'd be he'd be a better ruler. And Tyrion than, agrees. And more legitimized. But, right. Yeah, exactly. Tyrion agrees, but he's he's loyal to a fault, obviously. Um, but you know what? Uh, uh, Varys was always about who's the best for the to protect the realm and the right. seven kingdoms and stuff like that so obviously he sees what we see and what um you know a lot of people celebrating john sees and john doesn't want that, it man he, just he doesn't, doesn't want, want it that he, poop. Doesn't, he doesn't want it um but she's it was my it queen was, but she's my queen okay dude it was almost like too much right it was almost yeah. like grow a pair of balls but yeah i think that i don't i think john not that he's not that he's blinded or anything, but I think he, I mean, there is obviously a love for her, even though he knows the, you know, yeah, but that's the that thing. she's the, her, his aunt. Right. But there's still, um, I think he's, he believes in her. Um, and I think that's a big reason of why he, uh, he doesn't want it or he says he wouldn't take the, yeah, the uh, you know, stuff. I, I don't think it's just like, I don't think John necessarily feels like he would be better than Danny. I just think that he. I think he just doesn't want it, and that's the point. Yeah, I think mean, yeah, he's just exactly. like I just don't want to deal with this. Like exactly. this is not me. I'd rather just be yeah, out. In the, but I whatever. think that so. So let me put, let me pose this. So if you think so, if John if John thought that Danny was would be a horrible ruler, you think he would still want it? Well, I think that's what's going to happen now. Yeah. Yeah, but that's I mean before knowing. Yeah, what before know, that all that I mean yes I think if he didn't right right okay I get your point yeah if you know if. I mean? You know, but I also think it's a cop out as well. Plus, he's yeah. got to deal with he, she's my aunt type thing, and it you know. So you oh. love someone, you love someone, but you know, yeah. So yeah, other things that happened in this episode. Um, I mean, Rhaegal, uh, Rhaegal's uh, killed. Rhaegal's killed. Yep. By um by no, Euron. Viserys is killed. Is it Rhaegal? No, Viserys was the Night King one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, Rhaegal was John's, Rhaegal the green was John's, one. yeah. So, so he, yeah, uh, dude, wiped out just absolutely. Yeah, he got nailed. He got nailed like three shots, like boom, boom. It was kind of the, the sound effect when it went through like his throat, his neck. Yeah. That gurgling blood, gurgling sound was kind of, I was like, oh shit. So, yeah, you have, you having, you know, one by one, you're kind of getting, um, uh, Danny's, you know, family and, and, yeah. and, and her friends, the closest people to her, are the ones that that seem to be dying. You know, yeah. both both of her dragons, Jora, and obviously in the end of the episode, after everyone is attacked, um, Melisande is so is beheaded. Right. So so yeah. So we end the episode, and 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 you know she gets beheaded. So here's the thing: it's setting up. It was okay. The episode was okay. A lot of stuff happened. It, it, it's obviously rushed as hell. This is my this is my idea. I I would agree with that. This that is my this idea. Is, it's not well in, in. It's not. The pacing well, sucks. It's not good. It, the pacing's fast, but I just feel like yeah, like you said, they they're rushing it is like the perfect. Um, we, we dude, we've thrown to describe right. We've thrown all travel out the door. Oh, boom, boom. Yeah, it's Everyone like... Everyone just shows up, and that's fine, whatever. Here's the thing. My theory is that they saw what they... They had an idea of what they wanted to do with these dragons and the, and the, and the fights and all this stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and I think it's budget... I think part of it is budgetary. It's got to be. They're like, we want to do really good CGI. Like, okay, well, this is going to cost us this much. This is the ideas we have. It's going to cost us this much. Okay, okay, so how many episodes can we produce 
in that in that budget to get all this stuff done. All right, we could do eight, we could do six, we could do seven. All right, what if we what if we did? Well, we we can't do the eight. What if we did like you know the la- an hour and a half episode? You know what I mean? Like you can see you can see the path. Yeah. And and okay, well, we're gonna make these just like the last three or four are just gonna be like like you know ninety minute movies, and we're just gonna run that way. But again, what do you do in a movie? You're condensing everything, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So and they're off book, so it's it's who knows, you know. So uh, you know, uh, going yeah. into going into episode five, you know, you know, yeah. if, if you if you're watching this, go check out our episode five review. Yes. Um, before the finale and it's just um look man I, I you know i think we're just all disappointed i think i think we're all disappointed uh you know listen it's got some good stuff there are some good elements absolutely the actors absolutely. are doing absolutely you know fantastic jobs you know i mean yeah. um yeah i just i just i don't know i know yeah i know you're you're disappointed you're disappointed i mean a lot of people are disappointed um I don't want to, you know, listen, I'm still enjoying them. Obviously, when you when you um, go through, you know, scene by scene or if you watch them multiple times, you're going to pick and and see things that you didn't necessarily um, see the first time. And you can be negative about some of the things that you're thinking about. But I'm going to try not to do that because I just love the series so much. But I do agree with you when you say that uh, about the rushing of, of the story. This show is always... Uh, I mean, sometimes in the earlier seasons, we would say things about about the pacing and about how long it takes one. Like, look at how long it took Danny to cross the narrow sea from Essos and look how long it took Arya to do, uh, you know, to travel and all these kind of things. But there was so much um, there was so much about the story and they didn't it, it wasn't rushed. And the things that they that they needed to express to us as the viewer, I think they did a fantastic and they were, job. And there were other things happening through all those things. Yeah. There was multiple it was lot, characters. It was so there was plenty yeah, it was of time. Right. Then. Now, so, yes. you know, and, and again, yeah. the, you know, I'm going to piggyback on what you said that I've, this is a show that I've loved personally myself for all these years. And, uh, and it's disappointing because of, of what there it's, it's no longer game of Thrones was known for taking those risks for, I mean, obviously, it had it had source material to pull off of, you know. And George R. R. Martin, you can so you can tell where somebody who's crafted something so wonderfully compared to something that's been, again, I guess, rushed, but also made in a, in a Hollywood minute, so to speak. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that the creators and writers are not good, and I know that I know what the, I know that what they're doing is is tough, and they're doing the best that they could with that, but yeah. it, it's just not. It's not up to par with the rest of the of the thing, but also, I, it, it's not. It for me, it's the overall thing. Yes, there are some stupid parts here and there, but it's for me, it's overall. It's what they've done overall. It's where they've taken. Again, I didn't write it, but it's like, it just it's not good. It's just not good. It's like where they've when you take a step back and you look at the whole thing, and the generality of it. The well, there goes the dead. I thought I thought the dead were gonna be, play a bigger role, and they're done in, in in thirty minutes. Like it's it's very disappointing. And then you know now we're gonna, you know, this episode was a little more Game of Thronesy episode uh, four, you know, and but but you know it's it's I I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough because it's almost like you know the expectation for us before the season started. Does that play into something? Is it? Is it something that we might see uh, if we rewatch, a, you know, after it's over, a year, two years, three years, five years down the road or something, if we just decide to rewatch this whole thing again, will we see it in a different light? Because just our expect- expectations yeah. for season seven, yeah, season eight. Yeah, I agree. Because then at that point, so it'll be, high. at that I mean, point, it'll be good. It'll be like, oh, that was cool. All right. That was yeah, all right. So but maybe, maybe, maybe things will change. And maybe we're just expecting but that's, maybe a but, little too much. But that, but now, Mikey, now is what matters. I know, I know, Not dude, I know. I'm just trying now. to make up some kind of nah. Don't uh, make any. Uh, don't make any. Listen, some of the listen, thoughts that we're having. But listen, we're I, done. We're done. Episode right, three we're and done. four happened. Done. They're done. Let's we're move done. forward. Three and four is done, guys. Write in the comment section below. Let us know what you thought. Are you as uh, are you um, as upset about and disappointed about these episodes uh, thus far? Um, check us out at Third Person, of course, on all the social medias, on Twitter, on Instagram. You can have a, a listen to us and watch this actually on iTunes, 
thirdpersonpod.com in the Google searches. You'll find us. It's very easy to find us. But let us know what you guys all thought. Um, we, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of uh, excited to see what, what some of you guys will write in that comment section because I'm, uh, I'm just a little curious. I'm sure. We're curious, sure and it's been, it's been, it's been a couple weeks since, since these two episodes. So yeah, so maybe you thought a little bit more about it. Yeah, maybe oh, yeah. So let's talk podcast. about it. Let's talk about it. So all right, that's it. Thank you very, very much, guys. We, uh, we love you, and uh, don't forget to go check out our other videos uh, yes. for Badlands, even though Badlands is over. Hey, we've got a lot of content on there. And uh, check out the other reviews of Game of Thrones if you haven't checked them out and you haven't watched it. That's it. Thanks very much. We'll see you for the next episode for Game of Thrones.